News 4 exclusive, Timothy Banowitz talking only to Chief Investigator Lauren Traeger from jail. The accused killer of well-known Metro attorney Randy Gorey opening up and on the eve of his trial starting, the judge issuing a gag order because of our interview. Banowitz telling Lauren tonight he has fear and concerns about getting a fair trial, mainly over that judge. I feel like I have been kind of threatened not to say anything. Timothy Banowitz has been sitting inside the Madison County, Illinois jail since January 2020, accused in the murder of Randy Gorey inside his Metro East home. Banowitz is also accused of tying up two children and stealing money and a car. Did you do it, though, or did you not do it? Well, I mean, I can't talk about the case right now. Knowing he was being recorded by the jail, Banowitz didn't want to discuss evidence in the case when he contacted News 4, and I spoke to him over a video visit. He declined to allow us to use video of him, but said we could use what he said. But they didn't let me, they wouldn't let me get out of the county, get a change of venue. Um, I haven't been allowed to get a new judge, even though she took money from him. Um, I don't know, it's just stuff like that I feel like no one uh, is talking about. He wanted it known he doesn't think he's going to get a fair trial because the judge, Kyle Ann Knapp, had taken political contributions from the victim and those close to him. I feel like I should have a judge that is impartial. News 4 has learned that Gorey, his family, and law firm have contributed more than $40,000 to the judge's previous elections over the last decade. One contribution was to KMOV to pay for TV advertising back in 2012. Banowitz told us he and his attorneys are barely speaking, even heading into the trial. I mean, I should have seen some evidence. I should have seen, you know, maybe work on a defense strategy. I don't know how I would find another lawyer. I mean, I might just have to represent myself, but that might be better than, um, you know, the only advice I've got right now is to plead guilty and go away. One former defense attorney in the Metro East told News 4 the contributions could be problematic and be an issue on appeal if Banowitz is convicted. But St. Louis University law professor Anders Walker says even if the issue is raised now, it might not be successful in court. I don't think so. I think the judge could say, look, I'm just going to handle this like every other case. There's no financial gain moving forward. The judge in the case, Kyle Ann Knapp, is responding to that opinion by Timothy Banowitz. In court, on the record, she defended herself, saying whenever a defendant enters her courtroom, it is her, quote, goal to ensure a fair and impartial trial, adding it's, quote, the oath I took and I follow it. The defense also saying in open court, the contributions are not an issue because they are made to a committee and the judge does not know about them. But News 4 easily found them in a public records request that anyone can do. Now, another issue coming up in my exclusive interview with Banowitz, he says he's afraid for his safety in jail. I'm not suicidal anyway, just for the record. Like if something happens to me, so. Because I've been, I've been getting threats since I've got here. Banowitz saying he's been threatened to keep his mouth shut, particularly about the Gory family. You know, if I hurt their reputation in a way, or if I say something, you know, you're bad about them that I might know, like that's what I'm worried about. You know, things that I may know that they don't want coming out. And that's, and that's part of the, I mean, I've been hearing that for the whole time I've been in here. While looking up those campaign donations, News 4 found that Randy Gorey, his family and law firm had made donations to other judges, even to the former state's attorney. We reached out to the prosecution in the case. They say they have no comment on the campaign contributions made to the judge. I'm Lauren Traeger, News 4 Investigates. Banowitz also wanted it known he supports having a camera in the courtroom and will be there tomorrow bringing you coverage on air and on your KMLV News app.